Good morning guys and welcome to a very special vlog today. I'm at home but I'm about to leave to go to London because today I am meeting Kendall Jenner and interviewing her for my YouTube channel. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm actually super super excited but really nervous as well because I don't know what she's gonna be like. I hope she's nice. Um, I've just got ready to go and I feel like I need to put more makeup on. I just, you know, I, like I, I, I'm trying to get the right balance of like being cool and casual because it's like a daytime interview versus actually looking really good on camera. So um, we will see. And Kendall's like the most low key of all of the Kardashian crew. So I feel like she'll probably be pretty low key. Um, so I don't want to turn up like super dressed up and then she's like in jeans and a t-shirt like yeah, whatever um, But yeah, oh my god, I can't wait It's also actually the first day I've woken up at home in a while and I don't want to leave these guys I so wanted to take Piglet with me today but I feel like it's actually going on in a swanky hotel and I don't think they would let either of you in Piglet may be more so a chance than you Squidge, but I don't think you would be allowed even though I think Kendall likes dogs I think she'd like you Piggy who couldn't like you? <laughs> I made it to London. I'm now in Brixton on my way to Grow, which is where I get my hair done with my friend Gareth. And I'm excited to catch up with him actually. I haven't seen him in a while. Also excited to have my hair done so that it looks nice for the video because it's approaching rapidly. There's only a few hours left guys and I'm nervous. <laughs> it's actually a really beautiful day in London. It was freezing at home so the sun is out. I'm gonna grab some lunch in m and before getting my hair done because then I can eat whilst he's doing it. I've got some dye in my hair, Gareth is here cleaning his little station oh and I was just telling him about my new camera. I'm filming this on the G7X Mark II which is the second version of my camera so if you guys notice the difference let me know in the comments. From looking at the screen it looks really really crisp so I'm excited to see how it turns out. Um, yeah. Now we just wait for the hair. Now back in central London, I'm on my way to the Estee Lauder offices to get my makeup done. Um, probably more of a touch-up because I do already have makeup on, but um, obviously don't want to be looking rubbish for the interview. So um, I'm really happy with my hair actually. They kind of changed the colour a little bit, or well, Gareth changed the colour, not they. Um, Gareth kind of toned it down, so it's a little bit darker and a little bit cooler toned. And I feel like I probably just messed it up as well. Um, so yeah, that is what's happening now getting more nervous. It's actually so hot in London today as well. I am melting. In the offices now we've got a little makeup room set up and look at my view. You can see all the way down Burner Street. Very cool. And this is Emma who's doing my makeup. <laughs> and some of the lovely products she's using over there. Sneak peek. What colour is this? I think I have this one. This is in the flesh. Which is oh the no, I don't know if I have... I've got one of the nude ones, and I can't remember which yeah, one it is. Yeah, quite similar. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what do you think, guys? Yeah. Improvement? I'm currently waiting in the lobby of the London Edition Hotel to go and interview Kendall. And it's like, this is the most nerve-wracking part as well, sitting here waiting. Um, apparently it's going to be about 10 minutes. So, here we go, guys. I'm in the lift, guys, on my way to meet Kendall in the penthouse. Here we go. So I'm in the corridor, guys. I'm having to whisper because they're still right in that room right there. But it went really well. She was so nice. I can't wait for you guys to see the video. Got some good beauty tips, I think. I think you guys are going to like it. It's already going to be up when this goes up. So now I just feel like a crazy person whispering in a corridor. So I'm probably going to go and get the train home now. And now I can also take my heels off and put my trainers back on. <laughs> So glamorous. I've just got back in my car after the longest train journey. It actually wasn't the longest train journey, but the train was like 45 minutes longer than normal. So I'm now quite late to get home. It's only 10 past eight, but I feel like I'm really hungry because I ate lunch at like half 12 and I had something really small because I was feeling nervous. But on the plus side, the weather is uh, amazing. So I'm actually going to take the roof down in my car, which does not happen very often when you live in England. I'm not going to let the late train dampen my day because the sun is out and that is all too rare in England. I'm going to go home, cook some dinner, see the dogs, see Mike. I'm also actually super happy because I've just got um, the feedback from my latest vlog which went up today which was the one about YouTube as a job. If you guys haven't seen it already then um, go and check it out. It'll be on this channel. So I was actually really nervous about putting that live because nobody really talks about doing YouTube um, as a job, to be honest. Like, it's kind of a bit of a, it's not a taboo subject, but I feel like a lot of people are kind of shady about it and, like, don't tell people. So I was quite nervous about putting it up and what the reaction would be, but the comments so far genuinely have been so lovely and it just really blew me away because I didn't really know what to expect. I knew there would be 
some people would really appreciate it but there literally have been like no bad comments so far so um yeah no i was super super happy with that and i'm excited to get home i'm home till wednesday now which i've barely been home this month so i feel like i'm just so excited to get home spend some time at home i've got to do a lot of filming tomorrow but i feel like it's just gonna be good to just chill. I'm gonna stop talking now and actually go home, yeah. <laughs> home now with this one, you just busted him kissing me on the head. Ah. And, ugh. Ugh, Did I vlog already or was that on Snapchat? This is the you problem Snapchat. with Snapchat. You Snapchat and you vlog and it just confuses everything. I'm cooking my dinner now. This is quinoa and I got my what hair it? in it. I thought you said you didn't want any dinner. Just kidding. Trying to catch me out. Um, don't eat all of that, I'm putting it in my quinoa. Oh, no, all of it. You better not. Um, yeah, so I put a bit too much water in here, so it's taking ages to cook. And I'm kind of like in two minds whether or not to drain a bit out or whether to just have it really like overcooked and mashed potato -y, like squishy. Right you shouldn't be vlogging this. You should be vlogging the correct cooking area right now. What? You're not actually cooking something no, in a pizza oven, no, are you? It's just I came home, Mike's got the pizza oven lit and ready to go. And he, it's I was like, oh, go. he's cooking me a pizza. It's no, don't eat all of that. I'm telling you now. You're not going to eat all of this. Can I have Jeez, a little bit? That's me. It's really good. Um, is I'm it gonna Tesla's go... Tesla's like a spice one. It's generally one of my the best treats I've had in ages. Is it good? I'm yeah. going to go and put some pyjamas on. You need to come, Can come we watch a me. movie? Come with, come with you. Woo! Off on a little tour. Do 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 do. <laughs> do 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 do. Oh, hello there. Mike is very proud of his pizza. What's going on here? Look how big it is. It's like massive. Let's step back. Could cook you. Look. And then, so you put that on and then you push it to one shimmy side. Shimmy to one side of the back. And then you shimmy the pizzas in. Pizzas in. I'm hungry. Pizza. What are you doing, Trico? Wow. <laughs> Truvius. These guys. Why is fire so mesmerizing? Can't stop looking at it. <laughs> Here's my dinner, guys. It's steaming up the camera lens, but this is quinoa with spinach and mushrooms and a little bit of trito as well. Yum! La Pouche, what you doing over there? Anything to report over there? No? Nothing to report. Oh, Pouche. Second night in a row, she sat on her own on the other sofa. Antisocial. Someone's being a little bit more snuggly now, little boogie woogie. We are currently watching TV. We're watching a film called The Fifth Wave with Chloe Moretz in it, and it's good so far. Do you like it so far? Not bad. Not bad at all. That's probably going to be it for tonight, guys. I've had a crazy day, but it's been awesome. And thank you guys for always supporting me and being so cool because without you none of this cool stuff would happen to me it's pretty amazing and piglet says thank you too because well there's not really a reason because she just loves you speak to you soon see you soon guys bye